we're making gunta boat nagulo, and here are the ingredients for that recipe. First, we need some dosa batter. We also need some shredded carrot, some cut green chilies. We're doing gunta boat nagulo. This is the pan you need. We could take any type of greens, and today we have taken bonagantiaku, and these are what the stems look like. We have kept the stems aside so that we can grow it again in the garden. And for tempering, we're using some cumin seeds and orodal. And also we're going to be kneading. After the gunta punagulu batter is ready, we have to add the tempering into it. I've added some dosa batter into the vegetables and I'm going to mix it. Firstly, take a pan and add some oil. Now, we're going to be adding some oil. One teaspoon of oil dough, followed by some cumin seeds. I added a little bit of turmeric too, so now I'm going to be adding this tempering to the batter. and make sure to give it a good mix. The, now, take the gunta punagulu pan and then put the stove on a medium flame. Then add a little bit of oil in each mold and slowly start pouring, pouring the batter into each mold. I would recommend pouring the batter with a spoon into the molds. We have a covering lid for this, so we're going to put it on for at least three to four minutes and cover and cook. Let's take a little sneak peek at, to see if we're ready. I'm going to flip them over to see if they're ready. They didn't get their color yet, but they, they seem like they're cooked, so I'm going to leave them for another two more minutes. And now let's check if they're ready. Yes, they're ready. They have a nice color also. The punagulu are ready. They're nice and crunchy on the outside and cooked on the inside. And they're very yummy and flavorful too. Gunugulu are a nice snack, breakfast, or lunchbox idea. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to our channel.